The following program contains images of an actual surgical procedure that may be graphic and disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. What happens when the decision to get breast implants becomes a family affair? Find out as we go inside the OR. We're sisters, we're best friends, we go on vacations, go to the beach a lot, we do everything together. We've been talking about getting a breast enhancement for quite some time, something that we talked about but we never thought we would actually go for. I'm an A cup right now, so I was going more for a full C. I'm really small right now. I could probably get away with wearing a training bra. I kind of admire Nikki Bella look. Her figure looks amazing. My inspiration is Emily Ratajkowski. She has really nice breasts. I kind of think they're fake. They're kind of too perfect to be real. <laughs> This is gonna be like a memorable experience. We can years later tell our kids and kind of laugh about it. Chelsea and Melissa are here today to have breast augmentation. We're gonna be doing a rapid recovery breast augmentation technique, which means I'm going to speed up the surgery and also speed up the recovery and minimize pain. So we gave them both the choice and Chelsea is gonna be going first today. I'm gonna start with the incision. This will be less than two inches long. What I'm doing now is making a pocket for the implant. The key with this operation is to do a precise creation of the pocket. It's done very meticulously for a faster recovery. The next key step in the procedure is the injection of a long-acting numbing medicine that will last for about four or five days. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. This is a device called a Keller funnel. This is going to allow me to get the implant in through that small incision I made without touching the implants. It's basically like a pastry bag for breast implants. And watch what happens. One, two, three. Implants in, just like that. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, put in some stitches and move on to her sister. I'm starting with a small incision in the breast crease. Right now I'm creating the pocket for the breast implant. Done, I'm gonna to move to the other breast. I'm going to irrigate the pocket with an antibiotic solution. Now comes the long-acting numbing medicine. Now we're gonna get the implant in. This implant's a little bit bigger than we put in on her sister. So put that in through the really small incision and push. Just like that. And same thing on this side. A little piece of tape, really no bigger than a Band-Aid. She will go join her sister in the recovery room, and that's it. It's been about six weeks since surgery. Sisters Chelsea and Melissa join us in the audience with their surgeon, Dr. Matthew Shulman. Welcome. Welcome back. All of you. Thank you. You just did two breast augmentations in about a minute and a half. That's all, that's all <laughs> it took. That's, 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 that's pretty, pretty cool. amazing. Very nice technique. Yeah. So may I ask, are you all happy? Yes. Yes, um, I'm extremely happy. Um, it was very easy, and we're just both extremely happy. Did you both go for the same size? Um, I was really small to begin with, and I went um, like to like a small C. And I went to like a fuller C. I was already an A cup, so I already I already had something, but I just wanted to like you know maybe something a little bit bigger something feeling more natural, more comfortable. Did going through these procedures together make it easier on you? Like, what was that like? It was extremely easy. Um, so happy we did it together. We got to recover together at my house. Um, it was honestly, like, super easy. I'm very surprised how easy it was. I was back at work in a week. So these implants can really last forever. What I always tell my young patients is, they're young and at some point in your life, you're going to want another surgery. Maybe you want them bigger, maybe you want them smaller, maybe you know the implants that are available 10 years from now are much better, so you'll want to switch them out. So Many of our female viewers might wonder this. You said you go above the muscle. Does that interfere with the ability to breastfeed or nurse later on? No, it really shouldn't because we're not, we're not interfering with any of the breastfeeding mechanisms. So even though it's over the muscle, it's still under the Whoa. breast tissue. Mm -hmm. So it's there Coming should be zero the crease, effect. It's, it's under the gland. Have you ever done twins? I've done twins, their noses and their breasts. Uh, I, I've done, you know, so I've done twins, I've done mothers and daughters, I've done cousins and obviously sisters, but so it's, it's very common for them to come in together for the consultation, but what you have to understand is usually that support system is needed to take care of the other yeah, person. So they toggle and, and one So usually one gets it done first, 
and the other comes back a few weeks later. This was really unusual, and this is what's great is because we had sisters getting the same procedure on the same day, and that's what I think makes this story so unique, because it's, even though a lot of people think they want to do this, it's not that common, because they had to have a third person take care take of them. Well, two happy yes. patients. You Ladies, thanks for being with us, Dr. Shulman, appreciate it.